everyone. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Brie. And I'm Tori. Today we are back for more Dreamcatcher albums. Today we are doing the album Alone in the City. Um, so we've got the intro, we've got the lyric videos, we have what but relay version. We've got all the things here today. Um, You're selling it. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to sell it. Yeah. yeah. If you were at my door, I would, I would give you money. I would pay you. Yeah. I'd pay for the product. So hopefully that means you're sticking around to watch this video. Um, we are super excited. We have been loving the album reaction so far just because these B-sides are just a whole other side to their creativity and their talent and everything that we love about them. And then, then, and then some. And we've barely scratched the surface. Yes. So um, we're going to go ahead and jump in with the intro. We were talking off camera about, wow, this is an album cover. It's giving on Wednesdays we wear pink, but it's not pink when this is being posted. So we're wearing not pink. Not pink. It's also not. You got this. Also not pink when we're recording it. So even more, that's why we're not pink. But if it's Wednesday when you're watching it's not this. Wednesday, it's not pink. We failed the assignment. <laughs> It's fine. Oh, maybe maybe you didn't. If you did, then we're all in this together. I high school musical. I can anyone. Okay. I like all of the like crystals. Yes. And the hearts and like this right here. I like just looking at these album covers and this almost looks like just a road. See, I, it's weird. It's like an optical illusion. I see the road and the path yeah. to the point, like but then I pyramid. also see like the prism, like the, yeah. from the light from a crystal. Oh, um, that makes sense. And my brain keeps switching between the two. It's like a crystal so, like chime. Yeah. Okay. So it's a gorgeous album cover, but it is it is a statement, and we are here to hear what they need to say for this statement. This, this is no. There will be. They will be saying nothing um, with words <laughs> in this intro. In this I'll intro, the they'll be saying everything with the instruments. Okay, so let's get into it. I'm sorry, are we mining? Are we mining? We're mining for oh. gems. Are we mining for gems? I, I felt like we were getting we're... ready for battle. I feel like we're, we're, we're putting on our armor. <laughs> Sorry, it wasn't. It almost sounded like tr like tracks oh. to me, and then I just like it just sounds like we're 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 about to be uh, mining for some gems. Let <laughs> me <laughs> <laughs> start that over. I'm sad that ended. I was gonna say, as always, I'm not ready for that. I need that I to was... be like a full track. I don't even need like lyrics. Like I would totally no. listen to these, like just ex like three minute versions of just the music itself. I would also love to see them in the studio. Like whoever they've got doing that. Like I would just love to mm. see like just that whole production of it because it just sounds it's it's so immersive. I think the sound of it is so immersive. Okay, so then we've got. The relay for what, which we discovered when you go on YouTube and you try to search Dreamcatcher what. You don't get a lot of things. For the song. Yeah. You get a lot of things. But not for what. For Dreamcatcher. Just like what? Dreamcatcher? Just like what? Dreamcatcher. <laughs> what? So, Dreamcatcher. Um, this is what we went with. Um, a lot. Also, a lot of you guys said that their relays are a lot of fun. And so we were since, excited to do this too. Yeah. Since so. we've seen the dance practice. We'll see. Oh, what? I see now. I understand. 
Ah. <laughs> uh. This completely black room? Ah, <laughs> uh, excuse me. Do you ever just find yourself watching Dreamcatcher and thinking, I'm in love? <laughs> Killing it. Elegance. <laughs> Seriously, down to the tip, their finger, like their fingertips are mesmerizing me like the entire move but the way they move their hands i'm just like i want to do it too but i know i can't <laughs> just seriously Ugh. they make it look so elegant i know <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, did you see her ponytail go like whoop, completely around? Wow. hands in the back. The way she just walked in. <laughs> I 
liked how the like whoever was in front was like maybe making a face or so a face or something. Hello, words was maybe making a face or something, but like mostly doing the dance and just kind of doing what they were there for. But like whoever was behind them was just absolutely like descending into chaos. And then they get in front, and they'd be like, "It's my turn. Hold on." Back to it. I feel like the longer the relay went on, the more it kind of like more unhinged it became. Yeah. Yes, like I, I also felt like agree. it started like very much yes. like yes, we're doing this, we're in it, and then it started being like the hands, the hands, the hands. But <laughs> I also feel like whoever was in the back was like it's my time, and then they were in the front, and they were like, <laughs> and then go back to the back, and it's like, but seriously, anyway. like the elegance mixed with the elegance, the sass, that's the, the gorgeousness, word. the sass, and then the playfulness, like all of it combined. It just makes it so much fun to watch. So, okay. That was a lot of fun. What do we have next? Wonderland. Okay. So we have the special clip for this one? Yeah. I think we only have one song in here that doesn't have a special clip or a video. And that was the next one, which I believe is Trap. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we got Wonderland special clip. Mm. I like this slow start. their dresses. Hush, 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 hush. What? That was a lot. Thank you. <laughs> that was a lot for me, too. That, that was also a lot. I'm not going to lie. I was not expecting that, like, bass drop. That was dirty. Okay. Yeah, the blue dress, the yellow hair. We've got the white rabbits. <laughs> I was like, yeah, who's got cat, a blue dress? Or cat? Oh my gosh, I was like, where's the white? The cat reference? <laughs> Duh. Oh my goodness. We're, we're coming. We're, we're picking it up Sorry, eventually. Guys, yeah, we'll the song there. was really distracting here. We <laughs> went like this. Okay. Playful right here. It's the... I was like, 
time. Why'd she raise her eyebrows? Oh, you cut that note. <laughs> oh. position oh yeah i'm not gonna lie i didn't take in many of the words i read the words but i was the song <laughs> i was not expecting the like the feel of that song i mm -hmm. guess because like oh, most of it had that sort of like sensuality of it um and i loved the beat of it and then part of it would get like a little playful. I just, I was not expecting that. That was really gorgeous. It had such a sort of like laid back, chill sound. They sounded absolutely gorgeous. It was very, I know it was, I can't say like raw vocals because it was, wasn't like a live performance, but it sounded very just like vocal centered with a very like um, simple, but very sick track. I also have learned that I really like when Ju's hair is in a ponytail. Yeah. I, I thought that in the relay. I was like, I really like when her hair's up. And then again here, it's just, it's it's a mood. I like that a lot. And like, you mentioned the black dresses too. I really liked the black dresses. Like I'm just not taking in what they're giving me. Like literally all I can hear in my head is hush, 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 hush. They said hush. shh. <laughs> you better stop and you better listen because we're in whatever wonderland that they are in. Okay, I wanted to pause real quick and just go look at the lyrics on Genius Lyrics um, just to kind of check the translation just because I felt like I was missing some pieces. And overall, it seemed like it would seem accurate. Just maybe some of it was a little bit off. And so I felt like I have a better grasp on it now. And so I feel like um, it was kind of them like being... I don't want to say like tempted by something or intrigued by something in this wonderland or whatever that wonderland is referring to and wanting to be taken there, wanting to go there um, because they hear it, they see it. And it seems like a place that they really want to go to. And I really did like the Alice in Wonderland reference, like with the cat, the rabbit, the dress, the yellow hair. I liked a lot of that. So um, like going down that rabbit hole, a place that just seems like this wonderland that you really want to be in. Um, but regardless that song was gorgeous and like a totally different flip from where I thought it was going to go when we started. I was like waiting for a different sort of build up and then it never did. It stayed that sort of mellow sound. I liked that a lot. I would definitely have to say, like I said, we're still pretty early in, but I definitely have to say this is probably one of my favorite B-sides we've heard so far. Mm -hmm. I, I just the, like the mellow like vibe of it, but also like not in a way where you're just like relaxed hearing it. I was definitely on the edge of my seat going like, what? is happening here. I love that. Okay, so now we've got Trap, which I think is a very intriguing name. Oh, pretty. Okay. I might didn't listen to that one. I might automatically go to change the... Mm, that's pretty. Oh. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> no. Sorry, hold on, it like lured you into a like, false sense of security. Like, wow. The piano beat every now and then, wow. and then guitar. Wow. And then just straight into it. It was a trap. Oh my god, it was it a trap. <laughs> I fell into it. I did too. The music itself is a trap. Oh, and that is just insane.
Sorry. I need to give her another moment. Hills from that draw. Uh, high pitch. That that high pitch in the background. It's almost like a scream. Oh, the, when that dropped and everything hit, my body went just straight chills. Just end so softly when it's like been the, the track itself was just like so soft and then harsh and then soft and then harsh. I liked how we ended similar to how we started. Like yeah. it just all kind of came back down. Yeah. Like I said, there was that one part where it sounded like someone was screaming with how that that do 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 part, like which kind of makes sense because they're like literally screaming for you to like save them. It almost sounded like a distant cry to me. That's what that, that's what that, like, that musical, like, that part of the song just sounded like. The track. It seemed like they're trapped in this thing and it's like, please reach out and save me. Like, the desperation came through. I'll, the, in, the, what was it? The indifference was poison type thing. Mm -hmm. Was I felt like that was a line that was pretty powerful. There's nothing worse than <laughs> indifference. Indifference, right? I... I think they expressed the almost awful, confining, suffocating feeling of being trapped and realizing it because mm -hmm. like they were very aware that this keeps tightening in on them and how absolutely terrifying that can be. And then almost like, a, like a, like the desperation frustration of like, I, I just want it to stop. But the fact that they were so aware and like could realize what was happening just was very striking to me. Um, what was it? It was the short, short moment making a wound, indifference infecting right away, like indifference is seeping into it. And like you said, there's not quite much worse than indifference because it's not particularly an emotion either way. It's not love. It's not hate. It's just there. 
Um, it's like turning your back on something. Yeah, they talk about that turning your back. Mm-hmm. Huh. This song I felt was very, both with the track and the vocals, it was very expressive. It was like you felt every second of it through what was happening with the guitar, um, what was happening with them and their vo- their vocals, the ad-libs or the harmonies. It just felt very emotionally charged and very expressive. And I thought it was very gorgeous. I was and still am so obsessed with Wonderland. And I'm now also very obsessed with this one. This is like right up my alley with like the uh, darker side of music yeah. that I immerse myself in a lot and listen to. And so I can see myself listening to this quite often. It's kind of interesting too, because like the theme with like with even with Alice in Wonderland is she gets thrown down this rabbit hole and she's not prepared what, I for what. I didn't get that. Could you try again? No. She's thrown down this rabbit hole and she's not quite prepared for what's going to happen. And it's mm-hmm. almost like terrifying. And she has to, she is kind of trapped in a way. She has to, she has to like go on this adventure to get out of it. It's kind of dark in some aspects. So that's kind of, that's kind of interesting when you tie those two together. Yeah. Even if you just grabbed onto my hands just once, if somebody could just help me, please. Oh, they're, man. they're in the uh, Red Queen's, the maze. Running, running yeah. in the maze right now, needing somebody to grab. We're like deep into this Alice in Wonderland right now. I mean, they did talk about a maze, so you know, yes. <laughs> definitely. Okay, I think we have another <sighs> special clip. This, this one, one is for one July. Is one more. No, this is it. July seventh, because I think the last one on that album was the instrumental. For what? So July seventh. Okay. Um, while we were preparing for this album, we did end up seeing that July 7th is the date for a, it is a Korean traditional festival or holiday. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think it's Chilsok. Uh, Chilsok. I don't know exactly what they, um, like celebrate Chilsok for or what exactly the meaning behind that is. But, um, I had to see this like July 7th. That seems very specific. important and very specific. And it did say Tilsok. So I don't know exactly the reference behind that, but did see that piece at least. So very curious to jump into this. Hope that clap wasn't too loud. I mean, Let's go. It'll be fine. Oh, that's not ex- at all what I was expecting. Oh, I like it. <laughs> Ooh. The slide. Oh. The dialect. I'm sorry. Guys, I, I'm, guys, I'm overwhelmed. The guys. style of this song. The sliding. The... <laughs> Oh, what is happening in their vocals in this track that's just making me want to go like this the whole time? It's got like a, like almost like a carnival vibe to it, mm-hmm. to me. That that like playful, like vibe. Okay, let's start it up. Yeah. Mm. 
What did they put into this song? Oh, chemical X. <laughs> <laughs> I, Is that what you I feel <laughs> so dragged into this song. Like, I don't even know who I am or where I am right now. Like, I'm on I'm the just, beach. I feel <laughs> and it's weirdly stormy. hypnotized and... <laughs> No, no, no. I was the, no. Pro the progression of this person or whatever just like slowly leaving. Like they said, the silhouette was leaving and mm -hmm. then they were just kind of like distant in the stars Seeing their and shadow. Just, and yeah, can oh we look my. up what that what it is exactly? Really quick, yes, we can hold on. I'm gonna pause it for one second. So you have to wait. I don't, I, we've never had to do like research like this before. I'm loving this. <laughs> like, I love the depth. I this. mean, I'm down for it. So, <laughs> looking into Chio Sok, if you already know about it, I apologize if I get anything wrong, but I did try to look up the best that I could. Um, and just to sum it up, it seems to be um, a festival and it is like or originated from the romantic Chinese folktale, The Cowherd and the Weaver Girl. And essentially, um, the Weaver. Uh, the king has a daughter who is the weaver. She looks out the window and sees the man across the Milky Way that they fall in love and are allowed to marry. But then they stop doing their respective um, jobs, Jobs, I guess, yeah. her weaving and then him with the cowherd and the sheep. And so they are separated by the king and allowed only to meet once a year. And like I see here that crows and magpies work together to form a bridge for them to meet across the Milky Way. It's nice of them. And then I also saw this one was really interesting that if it rains on the night, because they're only allowed to meet the seventh night of the seventh month every year, so July 7th, if it rains on that night, it is believed to be the couple's tears weeping for each other and their sadness has returned as they're having to wait again for each other. Because they're separated. So that makes sense going with the lyrics. As they're kind of watching, I guess that would be like them separating for the mm. next year of waiting, which is absolutely heartbreaking. But yeah, talk about a long term, long term, long distance relationship. Ooh. Relationship. Yeah, no kidding. Not only distance, but time too. That is out. They don't even have video calling. They just have they the just stars. have to yodel at each other <laughs> down the stars. <laughs> um, but the that folk tale is very intriguing. Yeah. I'm actually glad that I got to research that because I never knew about that before. Neither of us did, and so that's really intriguing to learn about. And then going off of the lyrics for that, we could see how that mirrors the story. And now I feel like every July 7th, I have to play this song. Oh. And now if it ever rains on July 7th, that's what I'm going to be thinking of. You're not going to remember. Oh, I You're love folktales. 
Oh, no, to play the song. Bet. <laughs> well, uh, Bet. July 7th. It's it's coming up soon. They'll remind us. Watch. <laughs> no. Um. So, yeah, I actually, I loved this album so much. I want to yeah. say, I feel like we're just elevating here. I said, what was in this song? Actually, what was in this whole album? Like, what was in this album? It seemed like a lot of themes of, like, being trapped. Mm-hmm. Like, with what being trapped in, like, the endless nightmare. And then we had trap itself and... Just a lot of feeling trapped, a lot of being trapped in this place that you're really trying to get out of. And their awareness of all of it was really Mm -hmm. interesting to me. Like, they can see what's happening. They want out of it, and they can't quite figure out how to get there. And then we top it all off with this song, with July 7th, and just that representation of that story. A very romantic and very painful story. Being separated from something that you want to meet again. So, I mean, technically also, I guess, feelings of alone, like being alone and loneliness too, Mm -hmm. going along with the theme of the album and whatever this entity, whether it's like their fans, whether it's something, you know, special to them that Mm -hmm. they're trying to connect with. It seems like there's kind of a struggle there, but that all, I mean, it all, it all, all, I think all these songs go together really well. Weaves together. Yeah, weaves. (laughs) Well, this album was genuinely so much fun to listen to. It was absolutely gorgeous. And then we got to also learn about some things that we did not know before. Mm -hmm. So we absolutely love this album. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. So thank you so much for being here. We love you so much and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.